Uh, Peter, you have uh, written uh, recently a blog about how product marketers are renaming their products to make them more acceptable to consumers, uh, even if the new name is literally sugarcoating the true identity of that product. Right. <laughs> well, Peter, you know, you know our, our expertise. We're not Ralph Nader here. We're not a consumer protection agency, right? Not like that. But we're in the brand reputation business, so. We always think it's a good thing that you call a product what it is, not try to, uh, you know, uh, cloak the fact or change the name. You probably should usually talk about the benefits of the product, and uh, we want consumers to know the benefits of it. And right now, there, there are not too many benefits to high fructose corn syrup. Uh, you and I both, uh, in every American, you, you can't find a product that doesn't, or very few products don't have high fructose corn syrup that are sweet. So probably not good. It has been linked to obesity, so it's probably not a good thing. Changing the name is not going to change that. Let's talk about some of the some of the well-known examples over the years, and you're, you're a branding expert, so if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to really kind of put your your brand brain uh, to the test. We'll start, out, we'll start out with some easy ones. Um, so we have, uh, going back many years, we had these metal bands uh, that were once wrapped around wagon wheels uh, that now f are forged rubber in a round shape. Can you name that? Harvey Firestone and uh, Mr. Goodyear had good names for those. We call those tires. Tires. Yeah. This name is something that's been given to that unwanted flood of emails that, that come into your, uh, your computer and fill up your email mailbox. That would be spam, Ernie. Spam is the correct answer. Just a little sidetrack here. Uh, there is a uh, there is a name that was given to Hormel's specially processed American meats. Made its debut in 1937. You may not be it, old I enough to remember. I ate it in many forms, fried on sandwiches, uh, and that would be spam. Spam. Your, your answer is still spam. The answer is still spam. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's let's throw uh, another one. As a matter of fact, the spam on the internet has actually, I think, put a bad uh, bad con uh, connotation to good old spam that we enjoy. So good, good old spam, which is I so so the, delicious. I prefer the edible spam than I do to the the internet spam. Okay, uh, one more uh, run at that. Uh, can you name the famous routine by Monty? Python's Flying Circus, yes, yes. that became a celebrated song, right. and even a hit broadcast. Here's a Wumba Jack? No, 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 excuse no, me. No, that's no, another no, one. Spam, 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 spam. I'm sure I know that. Okay. Enough spam, yes. I think, for this conversation. Yes. Well, let's, let's talk about an example of confusion. If your business was uh, serving people dolphin, and there was a, uh, there was a, a sort of apprehension among consumers about eating dolphin, what would you do? Would you call it something else? Uh, or what might you call it? Uh, Mahi Mai is uh, well, well known. You know, obviously, uh, one of my first trips to Key West many, many years ago, we went to a restaurant and I saw dolphin on the blackboard. And actually, being a yokel that I was at the time, I thought it was, uh, if I was still am, I went into the restaurant and I saw that uh, it wasn't flipper that I was eating, it was this other fish. Uh, let's talk about uh, the food chain, the fast food chain that, that was uh, very popular, still is. Oh, yeah. I had a I had a uh, instantly recognizable name, but what did they do? You must be referring to the Colonel's old company, correct? Colonel Sanders, which yes. did exist. Yes. Kentucky Fried, fried emphasis on the fried. All right. Fried became very unpopular. People were worried about uh, hardening of the arteries and just just the unhealthy, the unhealthy aspect of eating fried food, deep fried food. So KFC, in their in their wisdom, uh, decided that it would be good to play down the fried aspect. So uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken became. KFC. Going back to your original point about um, this this attempt to get away from uh, corn syrup. Right. And well, it could create call it corn sugar actually. Right. High fructose corn syrup. Uh, it's ubiquitous. It's in everything that well, well, not everything. That would be an overstatement. It's in many things that we eat that we're not even aware of. And if you're a label reader, which I am. Um, I go and read it, and I'm constantly astonished of the amounts of, of products in the food chain that have high fructose corn syrup in it. Uh, corn is easy to grow, as you know. Uh, there's, a, there's a tremendous uh, government lobby that gives good subsidies for farmers to grow corn. And when you have all that corn, you've got to find a place to put it in. Uh, you know, along comes along uh, ethanol or some of the other products that they made out of corn, but high fructose corn syrup is definitely one of them, and it's 
when you have so much of it, you've got to find a place to put it, and this is where it is, and all our food, too. But the, the, the problem I think that they're, and, and other companies and products are dealing with, is that they have something that is distasteful to the oh, imagination. Oh, oh, it's or, become not desirable. Not a, not a taste thing, but, but just something that, that offends people. For example, if you had a fish uh, that uh, was called the Patagonian toothfish, what might you name that? Uh, let's see. You said Patagonia, so by my geography, Patagonia is in Chile. Chile? Yes. Chilean sea bass. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Uh, I would order the Chilean sea bass. Pomfrites, another great thing. Came from France, Pomfrites. Now we have the, the American French fry. Right. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Another thing that's not good for you. So right. I need those in small quantities. You, you, you but French fries are not in everything. Well, Pomfrites are not in everything. Right, they correct. They don't come with everything. I As opposed to? High fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Peter. Thank you for uh, sharing your wisdom. You, you got an A on this uh, today. Well, thank you. you this was a very good quiz already. I, I always say, I listen, as, as a communicator, I'm not taking any shots at the people in the high fructose business, but we want to, you know, we want to call it for what it is. We don't want to sugarcoat this. Sorry, the nice, line. nice. No sugarcoating. We want the consumers to have the truth, and the truth will ultimately win out. If this is a cause of or a uh, at least been linked to obesity, particularly childhood obesity, which is, as you know, is a big problem. Uh, it's probably a good idea for people to be aware, to be aware of what they're eating.